Well, two weeks before smoking is banned in Portland's parks, the city is making changes to take the teeth out of the ordinance. So with little to no punishment left, we wanted to know why have this ban at all? That's right. Chris Woodard is asking the tough questions tonight, and he joins us live from downtown Portland. Chris? Yeah, we're talking about cigarettes, chewing tobacco, e-cigarettes, all banned from city parks like this in two weeks. But with so few consequences left, we're asking, will that ban work? On benches, on a break, on the ground, or walking through. Sometimes I like to have a cigarette. It only took us a few minutes in this park to find smoking. At least give somebody an ashtray and say, do it over here. Is pretty common here. Well, we're outside. But in just two weeks, it won't be allowed at all. I don't think that it's fair to tell me that I can't hang out in a park for something that I've been doing since I was 18 years old. I mean, from one point of view, I kind of like it because I know it bothers me when I'm walking by and there's kind of people just smoking. But now there is confusion about what this smoking ban means because today Commissioner Amanda Fritz is backpedaling on the penalties. In February, the city decided smoking in parks would be a misdemeanor, which could lead to a citation and the possibility of excluding those who refuse to comply from parks for 30 days. But we learned at a council meeting today, Fritz is taming down the ordinance to say, no more misdemeanors, no more park exclusions. I wanted to know why. If there's no punishment, why have the ban and will it work? Well, there is a punishment. There is a, uh, the park rangers may ask people to leave the park for that day. Which left us asking smokers, will the ban even work? I can't really say. Fritz says they expect people to obey the ban because it's the right thing to do. That's awfully optimistic. I, I am an optimistic person. And in a turnaround from three months ago, says the point is not to criminalize smoking or using tobacco. But we never intended for anybody to go to jail for smoking in a park. On the park blocks, I'm told that change doesn't go far enough. Makes people feel like they're criminalizing everyone for something that's socially already acceptable. And one other change made today, now only parks employees, not police officers, will be able to try to enforce this ban. All these changes will be made official next week, just one week before this ban actually goes into effect. Live downtown, I'm Chris Woodard for Coin6 News. All right, Chris, thank you.